What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Hot Button. I'm your host, Isaac Lane. And on this segment, it's breaking news. Dak Prescott breaks the bank and finally and officially signs with the Dallas Cowboys. He breaks the bank signing a four-year deal worth $160 million. About time. Now, if you're Dak Prescott, you got to love this deal. Puts you as one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league right now. Puts you right up there, I think even a, a little bit above what Russell Wilson makes playing quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. Job well done. $126 million guaranteed. Now I have now, now there, there there are a lot of strong feelings that I have about this, and I'm pretty sure you do as well. But to me, the biggest elephant in the room concerning this sign by the Dallas Cowboys, them finally making this move and signing Dak Prescott, is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson and his camp made it clear that they would be willing to play for the Dallas Cowboys if the Dallas Cowboys were willing, ready, and able to make a trade. By them signing Dak Prescott, they say two things, in my opinion. Number one, Russell Wilson is not worth the draft picks that Seattle Seahawks were reportedly demanding. And number two, they believe that Dak Prescott is the quarterback that can get them over the hump and get them to another Super Bowl appearance so they can have a shot at another Lombardi trophy. I personally don't agree. Yes, Dak Prescott has had an impressive four or five years, four full years, uh, where he he thrown he he threw for uh, over 3,500 yards in 2016, a little under 3,500 in 2017, through for almost 4,000 in 2018, through for almost 5,000 in 2019, and was on track for a 5,000-yard season before the injury last year. Another thing about Dak Prescott is he doesn't turn the ball over a lot. Four interceptions year one, followed by 13 year two, eight in year three, 11 in year four, four in year five for a total of only 40 interceptions as compared to 106 whopping touchdowns. Uh, he is a quarterback who you can trust in the regular season. You can trust him to not turn the ball over. You can trust him to make good decisions. And you can also trust him to take advantage of that off of that great offensive line and make great decisions, manage the game, and he can also stretch the field at times. But he is in no way, shape, form, or fashion, in my opinion, a game breaker or a game changer like Russell Wilson. Let me know what you think in the comments because I truly believe that trading for Russell Wilson would have been the better decision. I mean, think about it. Putting Russell Wilson behind that great offensive line, especially when they're all healthy. Giving Russell Wilson, Amari Cooper, Ezekiel Elliott, although that defense has some challenges. Giving him that offensive firepower, Lamb, and giving him that protection, something he has not had in Seattle. He is literally sleepless in Seattle. The Dallas Cowboys with Russell Wilson are a Super Bowl contender the moment he signs the contract. With Dak Prescott, with Dakota, I'm not quite sure. And it surprises me because Jerry Jones is known as a risk taker. Jerry Jones is known as someone who's willing to almost mortgage the future 
for a Lombardi trophy. Did Jerry Jones get in his own way again? Did Jerry Jones put the Dallas Cowboys in the best position to win? Listen, I am no way, shape, form, or fashion saying that Dak Prescott should not have gotten paid. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, should it have been the Dallas Cowboys? Should the Dallas Cowboys have pulled the trigger and made that trade for Russell Westbrook? I don't see the Dallas Cowboys as currently constructed representing the NFC in a Super Bowl anytime soon. However, I do see Dak Prescott being an MVP candidate, being in the conversation for the MVP for the foreseeable future, if he can remain healthy. I do see the Dallas Cowboys being a 10-win team. But that isn't why you give a quarterback, especially for America's team, Four years, 160 million with 120 plus million guaranteed, is it? You pay a quarterback that amount of money because you believe he can get you to the promised land. Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys obviously believe that Dak Prescott is that guy. Now, Russell Wilson has had a Hall of Fame career already. He's thrown Uh, For over 34,000 yards, he's ran for over 4,000 yards. He's put up almost 300 total touchdowns. He is an absolute walking touchdown. (laughs) He's a walking touchdown. He is always in the top five candidates for the MVP. And if you have a shot to grab him, in my opinion, you get him. But nevertheless, Dak Prescott heads to the Dallas Cowboys And Dallas Cowboys, you are officially on the clock. Don't want to hear any more excuses. You have your quarterback now. It is officially Dak Prescott. Jerry Jones and the Cowboys organization have completely bought in to what Dak Prescott has been selling. Now, can you guys get over the hump?